Welcome back to Health Nuggets. I'm glad that uh, you're, still, you're still with us and we are discussing about nutrients and COVID-19 and how to boost your immune system. Now, uh, Mr. Robert, uh, before we went for the break, we were talking about uh, nutrients classification. Let's now talk about uh, the, group, the groups of food and how they are beneficial to our body and uh, boosting our immune system. Okay, we have many food groups, mm -hmm. so I will list them and uh, give examples. Mm -hmm. So the first is green and green products mm -hmm. and uh, tubers. Mm -hmm. So grain uh, include uh, maize, uh, lice, mm -hmm. or wheat, mm -hmm. so those ones are grains. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this category, they are what we call starches on carbohydrates, they give us energy. So they also include ugali, mm -hmm. yeah. It, mm -hmm. Ugali is a product of the of the grain, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a product of maize. Uh, we also have soga, mm -hmm. we have uh, mirret, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, these are in the uh, green, gr green ca ca category. Mm -hmm. We also have tubers. Mm -hmm. Tubers are kinds of food that most, most of them come under the soil. Mm -hmm. They include sweet potato, mm -hmm. yams, mm -hmm. uh, cassava, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. So Irish potatoes, yeah? So these provide us with energy mm -hmm. that we need, mm -hmm. yeah? So they should be included in part of, uh, uh, as part of our meal, yes. yeah? Mm -hmm. So they're important, and apart from uh, providing us with energy, they also got some nutrients. Yeah, they also got some nutrients mm -hmm. because uh, they have uh, they, they have some have vitamin B, mm -hmm. others have vitamin A, mm -hmm. uh, and other minerals which are important mm -hmm. and help our body to function mm -hmm. properly. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, 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 pulses mm -hmm. and legumes. Mm -hmm. Pulses these are a group of beans, mm -hmm. so they include dengue mm -hmm. or what you call green grams. Uh, they are beans. Black beans, mm -hmm. then jahe, mm -hmm. yeah, so uh, uh, they are in this category. Mm -hmm. Then we have lentils, mm -hmm. yeah, the kunde, mm -hmm. all of these are in uh, legumes. So legumes uh, give us, uh, they are source of proteins, mm -hmm. and proteins uh, is good. They are bodybuilders, we have been saying that proteins are bodybuilder mm -hmm. and helps in uh, repairing of wounded cells, mm -hmm. eh? yes. So, and it's also important in growth. Yeah, so growth and repair of cells, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a function of the proteins. Mm -hmm. Then you have meat and meat products. So meat it could be beef, mutton, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and also poultry, it's part of the meat, mm -hmm. yeah. So it could be chicken meat, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it could be quails, yeah. Recently we had uh, uh, this thing of quails, quails, quails. So quails are a good source of protein, mm -hmm. so it's part of uh, put the ducks, mm -hmm. yeah. So there is in this category of meat and meat, meat products, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we have the eggs. Mm -hmm. So eggs are good. Uh, uh, they are good source of uh, uh, proteins, mm -hmm. and also they have got fat mm -hmm. or what we call cholesterol. We actually need cholesterol in our body. We should not demonize cholesterol all the time and say that uh, cholesterol is bad. Mm -hmm. No, cholesterol should pa be part of our meals. We actually need cholesterol for our brain to function, mm -hmm. for our eyes to function. Mm -hmm. We need cholesterol. So mm -hmm. eggs are good. Mm -hmm. Then you also have fruits. Fruits are, are divided into two categories. We have the yellow or orange fruits, mm -hmm. which are high in vitamin A. Mm -hmm. These include mangoes and the purples. Then we have citrus fruits. Mm -hmm. Citrus fruits are the ones that are so. When you take them, you feel some form of soreness in, in your mouth. Mm -hmm. So these are mostly oranges, mm -hmm. lemons, mm -hmm. lime. Mm -hmm. Passion fruit is also a part of citrus, fr citrus fruits. Mm -hmm. So this should be taken. And as we, we said earlier, is that uh, uh, citrus fruits are high in vitamin C, which is good as part of our immune system. Mm -hmm. It is strengthen our immunity. Mm -hmm. So then we also have other categories of fruits, mm -hmm. like bananas, mm -hmm. yeah, watermelons, thorn melon, mm -hmm. yeah. So, and many others, mm -hmm. they are good, uh, uh, they, they are good to be good in, in, in our diet. We should take at least a fruit daily mm -hmm. so that to help our body. So because we are saying a well-nourished body mm -hmm will have a good immunity mm -hmm. and we have the capability of fighting the, these diseases and most of the conditions mm -hmm. that are caused by these germs and uh, viruses. Mm -hmm. uh, then the other categories would be nuts and seeds. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So nuts have got essential fats. So there are various categories of fats, but nuts have got good fats that we need for our body to function well. Yeah. They also have got zinc. Zinc is also a good mineral when it comes to strengthening our immunity. This includes jugu uh, karanga, groundnuts. Uh, almonds, cashew nuts. You also have sim sim, yeah, yeah, sim sim. So nuts are good in zinc mm -hmm. and in situ fatty acids. Mm -hmm. So zinc is good when it comes to strengthening our immune system. Mm -hmm. So nuts should be taken regularly, mm -hmm. like now now that we have this virus with us, mm -hmm. yeah. So we cannot deny it's with us. Mm -hmm. So we should take nuts regularly as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So in case that we cannot afford the ones that are very expensive, we can do sim sim. Sim sim is a good example that can be used. So nuts has got also essential fats. So our body needs essential fats means our bodies cannot be able to make these fats. Uh, fats uh, oh, we, need yeah. we need to ingest them in our diet. Mm -hmm. So nuts are good. Mm -hmm. Then we have category of milk and milk products. Mm -hmm. So this is where uh, probiotics also come in mm -hmm. because milk product, uh, yogurt or mala mm -hmm. is part of the, yes, it's just fermented milk. And uh, milk, apart from uh, uh, the, 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 the yogurt giving us probiotic, also milk, in that category, milk and milk products, mm -hmm. we have calcium, mm -hmm. we have vitamin A, mm -hmm. yeah, which is good. Uh, it's uh, good in strengthening our immunity. Mm -hmm. So uh, at this time, we should encourage us to take milk, at least one glass daily. Mm -hmm. yeah? It could be in tea, or you can just take it plainly yeah, as fresh milk. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, there's some, something I love very, very much, uh, Matumbo. Well, you mentioned a meat and meats product. Many people say that Matumbo doesn't have any, it, or it doesn't add any nutrients to the body. Uh, Would well, you agree with that or you think there's something it adds to the body? So many people you say, Matimbo si chakula, iyo si chakula ni waste product ya ngombe. But matumbo are really good. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. So I want uh, to make it clear that matumbo is an animal product. Mm -hmm. It's a source of protein. Mm -hmm. yeah? So it provides protein as much as also uh, the it meat and meat and yes, yes. And it has got also advantages. Mm -hmm. Matumbo has got zinc also, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. It has vitamin B12, mm -hmm. which is good for our eyes, mm -hmm. for our liver, mm -hmm. yeah, for our skin. Mm -hmm. Our hair needs zinc and needs vitamin B12, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, also mm -hmm. in, the, uh, in the intestines, uh, because matumbo is in intestines, uh, we have some forms of vitamin like vitamin K, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. which is good also to, for, for our bodies. So matumbo is, is good. But I would not like it to be taken on a regular basis because as much as it ha does not have a, a lot of energy as compared to meat and beefs, eh, mm -hmm. uh, it has got quite a high amount of cholesterol. Mm -hmm. So if you take it on a regular basis, you might increase the amount of cholesterol. Yeah, too much cholesterol is bad for us. Mm -hmm. 75% of our cholesterol is made by our liver. Mm -hmm. The 25% that remains should be taken in our diet. Mm -hmm. So if, if we over exceed the 25%, mm -hmm. then that means we are giving our body a rot mm -hmm. and uh, problems with cholesterol are evident. Mm -hmm. So we need to uh, remit on the frequency. But it's also good to mention that uh, for uh, some of us who are economically disadvantaged, eh? so matumbo is a good source of Protein, mm -hmm. yeah, it's cheap as compared to beef, mm -hmm. so it can be included as part of our, of, of our. Mm -hmm. But just to be taken in the right quantity. In the right quantities. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, and uh, we've we've reported uh, one case of uh, of death uh, due to coronavirus in Kenya, and uh, this patient w w was said to be diabetic. Uh, I'll say these are some of the special groups that are that are being hit hard by by the coronavirus. Uh, even including uh, the breastfeeding mothers. What are some of the special groups just to add on that? And what are their, their diet or what can they include in, in their diets just to, to counter uh, the COVID-19? True. The first fatality in Kenya mm -hmm. due to coronavirus was a patient who was living with diabetes. Mm -hmm. Diabetes is a chronic condition. 
yeah, that results to high blood sugar. Mm -hmm. When your body has diabetes, mm -hmm. by diabetes itself, that means the immune system is compromised. Mm -hmm. So it does not have the capability of fighting infection as that of a person who is not living with diabetes. Mm -hmm. So for diabetes, and in this case, in context of COVID-19, mm -hmm. there's a high likelihood that if uh, you get diabetes, one, uh, one of the manifestations is very high blood sugar level than the normal. Mm -hmm. So it, is the, it raises than, uh, the, 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 than how it's supposed to be. So uh, which, uh, doctors will work to control these blood, sh blood sugar levels mm -hmm. by maybe increasing the doses of medication that uh, they use. Mm -hmm. So some of them use insulin, which, which is used to uh, lower uh, down the blood sugar levels. Mm -hmm. In diabetes, I would uh, assess the patient. If the patient does not have a good control of the blood sugar, I would add some supplements. This is where I would consider giving some supplements. Mm -hmm. Like some supplements are important when it comes to control of blood sugar, mm -hmm. like chromium. Mm -hmm. Chromium is a good supplement mm -hmm. that can be ingested, yeah? it can be taken orally by those patients living with diabetes. Mm -hmm. So diabetes is one of the special groups, mm -hmm. and we say they are, are mostly affected mm -hmm. because of the immune system. Because once you have diabetes, the immune system is not functioning properly. Yeah? By itself, it compromises the function of the immune system. You also have categories of those living with hypertension, high blood pressure. They also, the immune system is also affected. Yeah? Uh, we also have uh, the aged. Mm -hmm. And we have seen the recent cases in Italy. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the mortality rate is very high. Mm -hmm. It's because this country most of its population is made up of the aged, mm -hmm. 60 and above. Mm -hmm. So when uh, at an advancing age or when we are, uh, uh, when we are getting old, mm -hmm. our immune system is compromised. It's getting weakened day by day because uh, a young person have a little chance of exposure. Let's say a 15-year-old have little chances of exposure as compared to 70 year old, you have read more so that you have interacted with these germs mm -hmm. a lot. So they have been weakening your immune system. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason we are having a lot of deaths in some of the places like Italy, yeah, just to mention a few, yeah, because of the compromised immune system. Mm -hmm. Pregnant and lactating women mm -hmm. is, a, also, is also a vulnerable group, yeah, because when uh, a woman is pregnant, mm -hmm. the immune system it's also compromised, mm -hmm. yeah. So we advise uh, uh, for uh, when uh, a pregnant woman is taking food, she should take five or more food groups. Mm -hmm. We mentioned the food groups earlier. Mm -hmm. So you should take at least five or more mm -hmm. of the food groups that we, 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 we mentioned, uh, yeah. So for breastfeeding women, mm -hmm. uh, for breastfeeding women, we say that uh, they should take an extra meal. Like we say, uh, uh, we take breakfast, lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. So for breastfeeding uh, women, they can add even one or two extra meals so that to increase the, uh, the energy demands because a breastfeeding woman has to have more energy because she's lactating. The child needs these nutrients. Yeah? The, ch the, ch the baby is not feeding because we say for the first six months of life, the baby should not feed should be exclusive breastfeeding, meaning no any other form of food. Mm -hmm. So breastfeeding is very important and it has shown to strengthen immunity of these children. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, if a mother has COVID-19 and uh, they suffer of infecting the baby mm -hmm. with the, the virus, it's, yes, it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's advised that uh, the mother to use mask mm -hmm. when, whenever uh, she's breastfeeding to avoid transmission of, of droplets to the baby. Again, if it's culturally accepted, mm -hmm. the mother and the baby can be separated during this time so that as the mother gets the quarantine, the baby can f have other form of nutrition. But now we have to be specific with this form of nutrition because these babies are not supposed to take any other food. Mm -hmm. They are supposed to take, a, a, if not blessed milk, mm -hmm. they can be given infant formula. Mm -hmm. So infant formula mm -hmm. have been approved 
by WHO to be used when the mother does not have enough milk or when the mother and the baby are separated. So, uh, but that has, uh, many factors have to be considered because it also impacts on the fin, uh, fin, 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 it also impacts financially. Yeah, you find that uh, in this week of COVID-19, we have pay cuts. Some uh, uh, some have, have been sent on a compulsory leave, yeah, and unpaid leave. You see, we are straining. So we have to consider all these factors because if we cannot afford formula, we would advise that uh, the mother to continue uh, to continue breastfeeding, but should take precaution not to transmit uh, the, the, the virus to the baby. Yes, we also have a elderly in that category mm -hmm. yeah so uh, the elderly uh, some have difficulties in chewing mm -hmm. and uh, also they have predisposing conditions like the case of diabetes yeah we have heart diseases mm -hmm. kidney conditions yeah yeah so we have to consider them so we uh, we advise mm -hmm. or I would urge if you have an elderly person make sure you prepare food take that food to, to him or her, and this food should include f five or more food groups also, yes. So they should have vegetables, they should have fruits, they should have pulses and legumes, meat and meat products, milk, so at least five groups daily that will help them to have enough energy and also nourish their body so that uh, they can be able to have a strong immunity that will help them from contracting the, the, the virus. But it does not mean that when you have a strong immunity, you not contract the virus. Because this virus is transmitted mm -hmm. through droplets. Mm -hmm. So uh, social distance has to be observed. Mm -hmm. But when you contract the virus mm -hmm. and you have a good immune system, you will not be much affected. We have seen there are some people who, are, who have just mild symptoms. Mm -hmm. Others have severe. Mm -hmm. This depends with the immunity. So the elder should be taken care of. Give them five or more food groups daily. And, uh, but this should be tailored depending on the, 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 the person. Because as we said that some cannot chew, some, 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 some have uh, deficiencies, yeah? some have anemia. So if you have anemia, then you should focus on foods which are, will increase the blood volume, like uh, the green vegetables are also good in iron. They also have meat and meat products. They are good in iron and uh, also vitamin C because vitamin C increases bioavailability of iron. By bioavailability, I mean it makes the iron to be readily available for absorption in the body and that will lead to building up the broad volume. So we should consider. We have also those with kidney uh, conditions. So, uh, and... Uh, also with kidney condition, your immunity is also compromised. So we should ask a nutritionist to guide the, 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 and take the case as an in, uh, individual and individualize the case so that uh, the correct uh, uh, assessment can be done and correct prescription of the diet can be done. So you'll say uh, some of the factors that would predispose as someone uh, to COVID-19 the major ones are age and maybe if you have a special condition like diabetes and hypertension. Yes, there's age, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's also activity level. Mm -hmm. Yes, so exercise really helps. So if you're not active, mm -hmm. that means you're also at risk. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, 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 those with uh, uh, conditions like, uh, uh, like the, what we have mentioned, the diabetes, the hypertension, mm -hmm. the kidney disorders mm -hmm. are also at risk then the breastfeeding and lactating women. Okay, maybe as we wind up, you've just mentioned that uh, uh, this virus has really hit our economy uh, very hard. And we've discussed a lot, and maybe there's someone at home who is wondering how do I, how, how do I like uh, eat a balanced diet or bring these nutrients or ingest them inside my body, but still uh, do it at an economical level. What what's that uh, cheap or balanced diet that I can have maybe for breakfast, for lunch, or dinner? Something that uh, fits the common one, ain't you? It's true. Our uh, economically is hard hit by uh, this virus, mm -hmm. and uh, we have also to consider mm -hmm. those who do not have the muscles, the financial capability mm -hmm. to to buy all these 
expensive foods, mm -hmm. but there are foods that are readily and cheap and cheap uh, cheaply available mm -hmm. that can be used and also strengthen our immunity. Mm -hmm. For example, in the morning, rather than uh, doing uh, the sausages, mm -hmm. uh, the bread, mm -hmm. you can do just a cup of porridge. Mm -hmm. That will be enough for the family. Mm -hmm. And I would advise for porridge, mm -hmm. if possible, we can uh, do two to three green products. Mm -hmm. So we can do millet, mm -hmm. can do maize, we can do sorghum. Mm -hmm. Yes, so this will uh, provide us with uh, enough nutrients yes. and uh, uh, that will be able to take care of us. Mm -hmm. Then for lunch, I would prefer giveri. Mm -hmm. Yeah, giveri has got beans and maize, mm -hmm. so that is carbohydrates. Mm -hmm and uh, proteins, mm -hmm. so we can just add some vegetables. And if, no, if vegetables are not available, we can do fruits mm -hmm. that are on, are on season. Mm -hmm. yeah? So usually fruits that are on season, they are, are, they are usually cheap. So that one can be included. Mm -hmm. Also, matumbo mm -hmm. could be part of that, because mm -hmm. matumbo is not as expensive yeah. as, 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 uh, uh, as meat. Mm -hmm. Eggs also mm -hmm. are a good example. Ah, I was about to forget omena. Mm -hmm. Yeah, omena is also mm -hmm. a good source of protein, mm -hmm. which is also cheap, mm -hmm. so that can be included. Mm -hmm. So the same giveri can be taken for, 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 for supper, lunch. Yeah, for, for lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. So yes, so we can do that, cheap food, but nutritious. Mm -hmm. yes. And that's a very, very informative. Maybe you can give our audience your parting shot even as we wind up. So I would say that uh, eating healthy is very important when it comes to our immune system. A well-nourished body means that uh, we'll have a good immunity and have the capability to fight infections. I would say that you are what you eat. Garbage in, garbage out. You take the right kinds of foods in the right amounts, then you have a good immune system and your body will be in a position to take care of these conditions and more so in this context of COVID-19. Let us eat healthy and stay healthy. And uh, there are some foods which are not recommended. Yeah. So we have the processed foods. For example, the very processed starches. Yeah. We have uh, uh, processed meats like bacon, sausages. All these processed foods have been shown to increase inflammation. COVID-19 it's an inflammatory disease, meaning once it affects you, your body starts the process of, in, of inflammation. So we should avoid processed foods. To help in uh, reversing this inflammation, we should take fruits and vegetables and also nuts, which have been shown to be part of anti-inflammatory foods. Mm -hmm. So these ones should be uh, taken regularly. Also for alcohol, it should be avoided. So alcohol compromises the immune system. So it should be avoided at all costs. And also, of course, smoking. So smoking has been shown to lead to a low level of vitamin C. And we said earlier that vitamin C is important in the immune system. So we should cease smoking. And for those chronic uh, smokers, we should give them vitamin C supplements so that to build up their vitamin C levels and hence strengthen their immune system. Asante sana Bona Robert for coming in and especially informing our audience of what to eat and how to boost their immune system and I'm sure with that we are going to conquer coronavirus and we are going to fight it together. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Asante. There you have it. I hope that you've learned some new tips to help you become less vulnerable to contracting the novel coronavirus. These tips are also going to help improve your immune system in general. We leave it at that from Health Nuggets, but always know that we love hearing from you. Please use the social media handles that are down below on your screen. Also make it interactive on our SMS line that is 0111-220044. My name is Aida Munzati. Be safe, stay healthy, and always remember your health matters.